Hello everybody. Um, today I'm gonna talk about one feature in Excel that's not very famous, uh, but it's really uh, nice and uh, cool to know and uh, use in some cases like the case we are gonna uh, discuss today. So uh, this is what we ended up doing in the previous video when we calculated the bubble or the couple of videos when we calculated the uh, uh, bubble point and dew point or knew how to do this. And um, in the other video, we knew, we knew how to do the flash calculations. And in, in the three um, cases, you had one variable that you change and uh, you you ask Excel to change that variable, either the bubble point, the dew point, or the Oliver V. And the uh, goal was to uh, get the value of sigma y equals one or sigma x equals one or both equals one, like in case of flashing. And uh, as we, sh we saw in the previous videos, if you change any one of these variables in the beginning, like the uh, material that you are using or the composition or the pressure, then all these calculations need to be done one more time. Um, for, for each change and actually we knew that the Excel is very powerful in doing this you just go to solver or go seek and then you ask him to change that cell and to set the other cell to whatever value that you want and it's gonna take care of everything but if you're gonna do this um, uh, variation in the conditions or the compositions um, many times then it would be uh, very time consuming to do this uh, each time by going to data goal seek and then put everything in so what we're going to do today is to see how the macros will help us do this so uh, macros is, is just a group of orders <coughs> sorry that you give to excel in that specific sequence and um, or, or whatever program it's in many programs but we are talking today about excel and um, excel would just uh, do this set of of, of, of steps uh, with the same sequence that you uh, gave to him uh, once you uh, ask him to do this so it's pretty simple actually you just know how to do this and uh, it will it will be as simple as just doing this one more time and then uh, Excel will do it every time so um, before we get started there is one point that's important to keep in mind is that all these uh, orders are given to Excel in the form of uh, uh, or in, in the programming language that Excel knows which is uh, the visual basic and actually, I don't know Visual Basic, and I I kinda I never used it before. But I know how to do these uh, things using Excel. And the thing here is that you will have some weird stuff that you need to keep in mind or to be aware of uh, while you're working. And this is, is all because of the programming language. There are like some sometimes you cannot name the uh, the macro uh, with a specific name because the, something that's gonna be wrong when it goes to the visual basic. So I'll I'll go to this when I uh, show you how to do the macro stuff in the Excel. But just you you need to keep this in mind. So let's start with the uh, bubble point and new point. So first um, you'll find the ribbons here. You have home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, whatever. Uh, but there is nothing here that shows macros. So actually to find the macros you have to uh, get it from the options. So actually the, the way it's in, in 2000, Excel 2010 is different from it was in 2007 and the previous versions of Excel. So before if you uh, like if you go to uh, advanced there was some something here uh, or formulas. I'm not sure but there was something here that that uh, shows uh, an option that you can show the developer ribbon uh, and in this case you just take this and you, you have it here but here the case is different so what you need to do is to um, let me remember you go to customize ribbon and here you'll find list of all the ribbons that you have home insert page layout which are the same as here and you just need to take this developer and press ok and then you'll find this new tab is here and here you'll see visual basic and macros and everything that we were just discussing so um, what you need to do is first to um, let's say you will do this uh, uh, bubble point again let's say you change the pressure to 0.7 or 0.8 atmosphere so everything would change sigma y sigma x and of course the l over v here is not the right value anymore and this is what we, we just said before so what you need to do is to um, uh, first record the macro and in order to record the macro you just press on this button and you you say you, you name the macro let's say bubble point uh, just to know that this is the one that you use for bubble point and then you press you can pre like write any letter here so 
uh, it will be like a shortcut but I, I, I usually uh, just uh, don't like this so if you press ok then you'll find this error message is changed it, say, it says that the name is not valid and this is what I, I just mentioned uh, you, you cannot have spaces in visual basic or any programming language so if you if you put the uh, underscore here then it would be acceptable now so uh, actually it's now recording and that's how why you see here this is stop recording button and you'll see here this uh, button here it says the macro is currently currently recording and you can stop the recording if you press here so this is a sign that you are recording now so what we need to do is what we did before go to data what if analysis goal seek and I want to set this cell to a one by changing the temperature and okay so now i am done so before you do anything else this is all the steps that you want to do you press on this uh, button or on the stop recording button so now it's saved here if you go to this uh, uh, button of macros you'll find that this is one thing here so uh let's say i'll change this again to 0.7 and i want to do to see if the macro is going or not so i'll go to macros and then uh, press run and it did everything so you you don't need to care uh, about this anymore it will it will do everything once you run the macro um and of course you can do this for the dew point and for the flash uh, calculations uh so this is the first thing the second thing that you might uh, uh feel that it's not making a big difference uh, of going to data what if analysis goal seek and going to developer and macros and then open the macro so one cool thing that you can do is to uh, make a button here that you can press on and it will take care of everything so let's say if you insert a shape uh, whatever shape uh, you're you're free to choose any shape i'll choose this text box uh, text box so I'll, I'll just write bubble point and again it doesn't matter if you choose the smiling face if you choose uh, anything like a uh, uh, whatever thing it, it will it will definitely work nothing nothing would, would be a problem um, so I'll just to make this clear here's the bubble point and now uh, to record the macro using or to to set this as a button so you can press on this and the macro run automatically you can right click here and choose assign macro so if you assign macro it will give you the same thing so I'll call it now the bubble point of course you cannot say call it the same one but i'll make it button so i know that this is the button and then i'll press record uh, and it will give you the same um, window as it was before and i'll do everything as the same of course uh, uh, one thing that you need to uh, uh, keep in mind here that there are some options here that are not uh, active um, and this is because there are some stuff that you cannot save in visual basic so again this is something that i i don't know much about but it's something that i i know that it's related to the visual basic so sometimes the solver will not work so that's why it's not uh, very good to try this with solver so again i'll do this set this to one by changing this um, temperature and i'll press ok and here it is done and again don't forget to stop recording so let's say again i'll return this to 0.5 and i'll press on this button it will be bubble point so it takes care of everything we are we are very very uh, good now so whatever change you make just press on this button and it will be uh, it will be okay you can do the same for here uh, for the dew point you can do the same for the flash calculations everything is gonna be easy the same the same way so I'm not gonna do both because it's the it's gonna be like rep repeating the same thing one last thing I need to uh, uh, show you that uh, because this contains macros and something related to programming language which is the visual basic uh, sometimes um, or it's not sometimes always it needs to be saved in another format so it Excel knows that this thing has macros that you need to work with so if you press save then it will give you this error message it's not error message but just this note that this um, feature uh, cannot be saved in macro free workbook you need to have a macro enabled workbook so to save this uh, feature you can uh, you need to press no and choose the right uh, format so uh, uh, it will open it automatically so uh, the format is the second one which is the excel macro enabled workbook and um, i have already an old file with the same name so i'll call it one and 
you save it. So uh, it just gives you a privacy warning because sometimes some of the files that you download from the internet that that have these macros uh, because it's a programming language again it might have some virus or some harmful thing to your computer that's why they, they give you this message just to warn you that just keep in mind that this might be uh, dangerous so you have to be uh, cautious and this has to be uh, got from a trusted source so this is something that I really uh, don't don't worry about because it's my file uh, but it's important to, to, to know that there are some files that might be uh, not very safe. So this is almost everything for today. Um, I, I just want to make sure that uh, it's, it's uh, clear now how to uh, use macros. If you know about the programming language, you can edit your macro from the Visual Basic. Like uh, if you go to here and then open the Visual Basic, then it will open this Visual Basic uh, file. And here you can see um, that... Uh, well, I don't know where it is actually I am not very good at this uh, kind of stuff but uh, anyways this is this is the, the where you can you can play with your uh, um, with your macro if you know a uh, little bit or somehow about the programming but uh, actually you don't need to do this as I, as I showed you it's pretty simple from Excel the interface is very uh, friendly and helpful so hope hope this this uh, helps Goodbye.